Hi, and welcome back to Fish Out of Water Goes Algonquin. Now, if you like beaver trapping, net fishing, and pelt stretching, I don't even know why you have a TV. But if you like seeing television hosts stretch their breaking point, you're gonna wanna keep watching. I won't tell you an Algonquin story. Can you tell me a scary one? Oh, a scary one, okay. It's about two creatures. Yeah, that they found in the river. They were like little snakes. One of them was silver and the other one was gold. So they started feeding it small things at first, a little piece of fish, a little piece of rabbit. As they grew, they were getting bigger and bigger. So as the creatures started eating pretty much everything, the trees, the animals, you know, the fish going in the water and stuff. Yeah. It started polluting because they were getting much too big. It starts eating their land. It starts eating the people. The snakes, all they have to do now is open their mouth and people are crawling in there. And they're pushing their children to go in there. The native people, they seen what they were doing. So the man started making a big giant bow and the female made the bowstring. The elders made the, the point. The community made the arrow and uh, the feathers that was put on. One was from the elder, one was from a parent, and another was from a child. They got only one shot at this, you know, to kill both creatures. This, the snake decided to get married, so they wait and they wait until they pronounce, and that's when they shoot them. But it's a legend I, I learned like I, like I was seven years old. Jacob, that's incredible. Thanks for the story mm -hmm. of the silver and gold snakes. We've been here a few days. Now I want you to show me what you have learned. What uh, do you want me to do? First is to get the fish, and the second one will be to trap a beaver. Okay, fish, uh, you and I couldn't catch a fish. You want me to try to do it on my own? Fine, set the beaver trap. A lot of chopping, but you want me to do it, I'll do it. Yeah. First thing you gotta do is check the net, right? Okay, how do we even find out where this thing starts? I don't know. Well, Just keep is... going one direction. I'll help give you a hand. All right, see, that's no jib way. I've been at this five minutes. I've already got an Algonquin working for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is very fine work. <laughs> How's that? Very good, my friend. Hey, hey. <laughs> I have to give him a five. Paddle. Never go in a canoe without your paddle. But I think you'll do okay. Right now I'm feeling pretty good about the challenge. However, now we're out on the water. I just watch it unravel and... Okay, you help it, because it's hanging up someplace. I think the fish can get good and tangled in this net, because I am. You're doing good. I'm coming up to the last floater, Jacob. When do I tie the rock? Okay, that's the time you tie it. Rock's away. What do you think? Very good. Very good? Very good. I think one of the advantages of learning by doing is that you make mistakes, and yeah. then you learn yeah. from those mistakes. Exactly. And you learn that if you do it right the first time and take, take care, you'll have less work to do out there when you're actually yeah. uh, trying to set the net. Bring in the net. Bring in the net. <laughs> Looking pretty empty, Jacob. So overall, what uh, if you had to give me a grade, what grade would you give me? Uh, from what I seen, from sure. Yeah. Yes, you made like uh, you twisted the net. Yeah. Th this is something you gotta look after. Now. So I see you recognize your own mistakes, you know, and all that. I would give you an eight in. Eight? Hey, really? Yeah. That's out yeah. yeah. of ten, right? Ta da! I'd like to take all the glory, but I could have done it without you. You, you were helping out, and I appreciate that. Uh, we want to see how you do with the beaver trap. Oh, right, the beaver trap. Step one, where do I build the trap? Now, this looks like beaver. Got some sloughing. Most importantly, I've already got one of the logs ready to go for me. You know what the final piece of the clue is for me? What? The fact that you were sitting there waiting. <laughs> OK, that's going to be my crossboard. So I need four posts to start. If I don't have to cut them, all the better. My work is one. Remember, shortcuts could be a long detour at times. I think I've got a great technique, Jacob, where you try to stick within a three-foot radius of your trap at all times. We'll see how solid these are. 
Your labor will be rewarded. <laughs> you do it right. Now, the moment I've been dreading, the deadfall log. It's too hollowed out. Good thing we started early this morning, didn't we? <laughs> I'm wondering what he's doing. I need a trigger stick now. These dainty little strokes have got to be killing you, eh, Jacob? <laughs> Flags and poplar. Something in a beige, or maybe a burnt ochre. Jacob, I, f I found a poplar. Now we move to the engineering phase of this trap. It's getting tense now. <laughs> I've been working hard. You're sitting there in the peanut gallery. There's my flag, right like here. I christen thee. Dead beaver. Done. Time. Looks good, my friend. From a distance, it looked good. That is perfect, right? Except that this bowl should be closer this way. Yeah, your top log is a little light. Your flag, what I mean by flag. Like the kind of flag that you want people to see. Do you want to give it the real stress test? What are you going to show me? Oh, look, some candy. I think I'll just help myself. And oh, oh. and oh, wow. Unreal, look at that. Okay, straight up, how did I do? If you had to give me a rating out of 10? An eight. An eight? But you gotta get away from this Ojibwe land <laughs> measurement. I come, yeah. from, I come from a small reserve. Did you notice that I actually applied extra pressure to squish the cantaloupe? Jacob, I'm genuinely sad to say it's probably time for me to get going. This has been a fantastic experience. You're an amazing teacher, and I honestly know we've just touched the surface of the stuff you know. I guess I do need just some final uh, thoughts from you. I want to know, as a strong, proud Algonquin warrior, how would I rate to you? The way I rate it is what, what I have in my hand. I, I didn't get you anything. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> you see the feather? For each strand is the knowledge that we all seek and for. This one is the eagle feather. It's to see the distance, where you came from in the past, to where you are now and where you're going. Say the sturgeon carries the spirit of man during hard times. I say thank you for your visit. I say thank you and miigwech. This is all, this is a real honor. This is uh, not at all expected. And thank you, you, uh, you deserve all the honors. Yeah for teaching me, taking the time to teach me, a, a sometimes difficult student, and for doing all the teaching you do for your own people and for yeah. Cocomville Academy, which is right here. Yeah. I thank you for everything. See, uh, he's been passing here quite I've long. learned that our ancestors have always realized how important it was to make sure they passed on their knowledge and understanding of the land to future generations. It's a person like Jacob, in keeping his promise to his grandmother, who's going to ensure that their teachings will continue and that our people will always know how important our environment is for our future. Wow, that was great meeting Jacob. He knows so much, like when he was smoking that moose meat. But for me, if we're talking smoked meat, it really comes down to one simple question. Dijon or regular? Go with Dijon. You always just got to add something, don't you? Yep. You think the Dijon? Yep. If you say so. Now, Algonquin wouldn't drink that water. Well, then it's a good thing I'm Ojibwe. And hey, if it's good enough for the beavers, good enough for me. Oh, man, I don't, I don't think I feel very good. I think you got beaver fever. Oh, you sure? I'm pretty sure, buddy. Oh. I'm Don Kelly. And I'm what you call an urban native, a city-raised, office-bound Ojibwe. But I can't help hearing a call, a call from my elders telling me it's time to rediscover the old ways and get back to the land. Hello? Hello? 
Hello and welcome to Fish Out of Water. This week I'm at the Cocomville Academy, which is in the land of the Algonquin. Well, actually, it isn't in, it is the land of the Algonquin, but I'm getting ahead of myself. That's why I'm going to meet up with the head of the Academy, Jacob Wawate. He is really smart, so time to listen up. Hi, Jacob. Hi, Don. It's great to meet you. I want to thank you for hosting me in this beautiful territory. I need an idea of where we are right now. We're uh, about two hours, three hours north of Ottawa. My hometown. Uh, yeah, and uh, it's in the province of Quebec uh, within La Viandre Wildlife Reserve. But we like to think of it as Algonquin territory. Yep. <laughs> you are someone who's uh, uh, someone who knows the traditional ways, traditional knowledge, teaches it. Where, where did you learn that? Like I was born, like in 19, 1956, you know, where like 99% of our food and clothing were off the land. Yeah. I was lucky enough uh, to have my grandmother who taught me. You know, uh, on her dying bed, she had told me to, to take care of the animal, yeah. take care of the land, yeah. and to teach the people well. So you feel it's pretty Pretty big responsibility she gave you? <laughs> big one. <laughs> we look at our resources, so each tree would have to be learned. Each bird would have to be learned for what they could contribute. So you you got to know your material, your resource. Right. Yeah. I've heard of the Cocomville Academy. What is that? Really, the Cocomville Academy, it's not really a, a building. Right. Yeah, this is your academy. Yeah, this is your resource. This is your your library where everything is. Yeah. Well, this is hey, this is where I'd like to learn. <laughs> Beats being then stuck in a classroom. Yeah. We're gonna trap some beaver. Yep. All right. I've been researching beaver on the internet. I googled it. You googled did, did it. Did you know the beaver is the second largest rodent in the world and the largest in North America? By the way, research beaver on the internet. Type in beaver animal. Otherwise, you get way yeah. more hits than you need. Yeah. This is a nice trail here for beaver. If you look at these, the teeth mark. That's all a tooth mark right there? That's a tooth mark. Wow, OK. And from the size of it, it's a big one. Did you know beavers can get up to four feet long and 60 pounds? They can be yeah. big. So next thing we got to do is to, uh, we could go we'll cut our logs and prepare the ground. OK, you yeah. show me the logs we need. I okay. got my ax. I'm good to go. So now uh, we're looking for a tree to this one seems a fair size for the bottom piece. Oh, I like it. It's already horizontal. I like that. And then I'll go look for another one while you cut this one. You're trusting me to cut this one? I gave you my full trust, my friend. <laughs> OK, and your ax. OK. My friend. Already? I'm two strokes in, and you're already stopping. The idea is to knock the, like. Cut uh, in a V? All right, get the V yeah. action going. This is going to be a, the log that's going to kill the beaver. Whoa! Whoa! That's a heavy log, man. Makes you feel like a man. Yeah, you got to show me up again, huh? <laughs> wow! OK, what do we do first? This is like the foundation of your trap. My log is the foundation? Yep. All right. OK, now we need the four sticks. OK, to... I gathered them up over here. Uh, what you need is your axe. So you got to go find your axe. Where'd you put your oh, axe? my axe. OK, it's around here somewhere. Using it as a hammer? Yeah, use it as a hammer. I'm worried about killing That's myself it. here. I don't know about you. I always get nervous when I got a blade swinging right by my head. It... How solid does it need to be in? Mine's more of an arts and crafts project, I think. Did you know uh, Jerry Mathers played the beaver and leave it to beaver? Yeah. I think I'm all tapped out of beaver facts now. You lift this up? Yeah. So this is our trigger right there. The trick is that uh, we're going to put a bait up there. What, uh, what's good beaver bait? And we're going to use the, the candy. The candy and sweet stuff is the pop. Always get them with the candy. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> ah, a camouflage. So this gets them in off the water. Yeah. He sees the candy, and that's what gets them into the trap. Yeah. Ingenious. So looking at this trap, can I just try a little experiment? Sure. OK, one sec. Oh, I'm hungry. I've been a busy beaver. Oh! You know, you can make a good uh, fruit salad maker out of this, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. It's 
smoking a little moose meat. So this is kind of our frame, eh? See how you plan it. About here, you think? Try to make it square. Does it look square to you? Uh, it might be a little off. You got a funny square way, right? <laughs> now we need to put the cross pieces. What I'm going to ask you is to eyeball this. Well, maybe just under uh, an arm's length. OK, let me ch check that one out. How'd my eyeballing do? Whoa, yeah, is that not bad? That's very good. Wow, that's Bullwinkle right there. This comes from the tie. This is shoulder. And this is the, what we call the seat. The seat? On the moose. Well, I think I, think I know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> so you see which way the, the strand of meat is going. You're going to cut it in strands like that. OK. Well, you're trusting me with my own knife. I'm honored. And I'm cutting this way. Yeah, about uh, an inch and a half, two inches wide. So a smoked meat a specialty of yours? Usually I do one in the spring and one in the fall. By the time I was 15, I was doing the whole moose by myself. You start in uh, the middle all the time? That way I could work, uh, like I'm trying to put it above the fire at first. OK. Yeah, and work from there. There we go. Now we got to make more fire on them. Poplar is the slowest burning, and it doesn't throw out, off so much heat. And what did you just lay that? Uh... Uh, just, uh, just right on it. Like this? Just like that. How long does it take to smoke it, Jacob? Uh, it depends how much flavor you want on it. So for how you like it, how long would you leave it like that? For three days. Three days? Smoking for three days? Yeah. See how the smoke is? Yeah, it's definitely getting much more on the meat, which is what we want. Yeah. Man. I'm getting hungry just looking at that. OK, well, we'll leave it. We'll leave it to smoke. We're, we're good on the smoked meat. Yeah. Well, that's good looking meat. Coming up, Jacob reveals the secret healing power of a toad. Hello. This is Fish Out of Water. I'm Don Kelly, and I am learning what it takes to make it as an Algonquin hunter. To be honest, though, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I hope so, but I'm not sure. I mean, I like to think I have what it takes, but uh, I believe in me. I just don't know if deep down I really believe in the fact that I believe in me. Am I rambling? Can we do another one? So what are we doing here, Jacob? Trying to put some food on a table. OK, so we're going net fishing in the lake. This one is actually made by my grandmother. What are you likely to catch in this lake? We have pike, walleye, and trout. What's your favorite? Like asking a kid, you know, what's your favorite candy in a candy store? So we got to go pick up some rocks about potato size. That's going to be easy to tie. Rocks, potato size rocks? Well, that might be a Yukon gold, that one. How's that one? Uh, I'll let you tie it in, let you learn. I may not have the best potato here for us. Yeah, that's where we learn. Like today, what they use to use. <laughs> OK, one more rock that we need. Get one about 10 pounds. A big one? Not a big one, 10 pounds, I that's, that's a big one, though. That's a big yeah. one. 10 pounds. Hurry up, it's going to get dark. Which is the closer to 10, do you think? This one is 15, this one is 5. <laughs> <laughs> now we're ready for the canoe. You notice we don't have life jackets. Is this? Uh... Approved by Transport Canada? In a traditional sense, yes. We got all the permission we have. We might even actually catch something here. All we got to do now is tie this long string here to our main uh, rock. OK. Got to wait for the fish now. Leave it there overnight. We could just go get it in the morning. Yeah. And chow down for brekkie. Yeah, chow down for Ricky. So how many fish do you think we caught, Jacob? We got lucky, we're going to have three or four. I say go big or go home, so I'm betting on seven. Now we'll see who wins the pool. Boy, the water's nice today. Very still. I can see right to the bottom, and I see no fish, but it's because they're all in the net. Do I back up along the line, or? No, no, you just sit there and watch. <laughs> well, I'm not seeing anything fish-like yet. Well, the luck ran out, my friend. The luck ran out. Yeah. That's it? That's it. We're having berries tonight? 
We have berries. <laughs> berries, okay. <laughs> this is balsam. Balsam. You see these bubbles? We'll take a couple of them out. What we do with that is uh, we get the liquid out of here. Oh, you, look at that. You, this will work somewhat like uh, stitches. And uh, it'll close up the, the cut. Because when you put this on, it works like a, an antibiotic. Jeez. And a disinfectant at the same time. So yeah. balsam. Yeah. That's handy. Yeah. Coconville Academy, this is the pharmaceutical section. Then. Yeah, yeah, this is the pharmaceutical. <laughs> now, this, what's, this is a toad. Yeah. You don't boil them up in tea, I hope. No, 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 no. Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't having none of that. Uh, they'll use the, like, the pea. He gives a... Strike right on it? Yeah, strike it right on a, on, on a scar itself. And once he uh, has done his job, you're supposed to let him go. You don't kill him. It's funny how he's, he urinates on you, and yet you owe him at the end of the day. It's yeah. incredible. There's several kind of teas around. But in this uh, area, we have uh, what we call uh, wintergreen. Wintergreen? Yeah, try it. Chew it? Yeah, chew it. Yeah. And uh, the... <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, that's actually for a sore stomach. Upset stomach. Yeah. So should we gather some up? Sure. Okay. Yeah. So this is winter green tea. Yep. What gives it that uh, sweetness? It's very sweet. What I did is I added uh, maple sugar. Maple I, sugar. I've wow. Been making it for the last 30 years. This is fantastic. I love it. Yeah, it's good. So I'm going to show you how to stretch a beaver. So we're going to do something that's going to end up like that? Is that something like that? I got to see that. Yeah, so I got several skin here. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. You see, this is a beaver. That's a beaver? Yeah. So that's a muskrat. And I got another muskrat here. So we're going to do one muskrat a piece. So you're going to use these two. These two, OK. You bend a little bit at a time so it'll shape at the same time. Yeah, we can make these smaller than that one because we're using a yeah. Smaller varmint, right? Yeah. Is uh, varmint Algonquin, by the way? No. We don't have varmint. All we got is resources. And this is the way my grandmother would do it. Your grandmother approved kind of technique I'm doing? Yeah. Looking good, buddy. Wow. This really brings the bugs out, doesn't it? See, that's one of the reasons why we work around a fire. Smoke keeps the bugs away? Yeah. OK, so we've got our rat ties. Yeah. Next steps. No, I've smell smelled worse. worse, yeah. Yeah. Now, what are those? Those don't look like, like real needles. No, those are nails. I fashion a needle for it. So, uh, in spite of other troubles with other stuff, when it comes to women's work, I think I can excel. So aside from making a pretty display for the fur, what's the purpose of this, Jacob? Uh, it's to prepare it for the tanning process. We're trying to dry them here? And yeah. Voila! Your toupee is ready, my friend. Now what you got to do is tighten it. Just yes. all the way around? The way my grandmother would teach me. If you want to make a snow show, watch me and you could make yours at the same time. They make you go through the experience. Oh, OK. Yeah, and that's Cucumville Academy's uh, philosophy of teaching. Did you tighten it on both sides? I think bad. so. Yeah, OK. There you go. Now it's just uh, to let it dry and that's it. All right. I think I have the perfect idea what to do with my muskrat. Screw dream catchers. I'm flying a muskrat pelt. Coming up, can I catch a fish for dinner? You're doing good. Or is it rock soup again? Ta-da!